you're taking an important step to treat your back or neck pain and made it to the day of your spinal injection. The procedure will take place either at the Arnold Warfield Pain Center, located at 1 Brookline Place on the corner of Route 9 and Brookline Avenue in Boston, or at Beth Israel Deaconess Hospital in Needham. You'll arrive between 30 and 60 minutes prior to your scheduled injection time and meet your clinical team. A lot of patients ask, what is my visit going to be like today? So I like to explain. The medical assistant will check your blood pressure, your heart rate, your oxygen, your temperature, review your allergies and your medicine. People are nervous when they first come into the pain clinic. If they were coming for an epidural injection, we have about a 70% success rate. So I like to say that fact. And then I also like to throw in that um, it is the most popular injection that we do here and that we've already done 10 today. That kind of eases their fear a little bit. It's pretty straightforward. It's relatively quick. Um, we use local anesthetic, so it's pretty pain-free. If you do feel pain, you just let us know. We give you more anesthetic so that you're, you're comfortable. We explain to the patient that usually they'll be laying on their stomach because the x-ray machine needs to have access to their back and we need to access their back for the injection. The standard today for a lot of spine injections is uh, using fluoroscopic guidance. Uh, fluoroscopic guidance is an x-ray method, so we lay eyes on the bony structures to have a real-time sense of where the needles are. Injections can take anywhere from 30 to 60 minutes, depending on what you have done. In some instances, for example, if you're a diabetic, we may need to keep you in the hospital a little bit longer to monitor your blood sugar, um, or if you have any other medical comorbidities. How'd you do with the injection? After the procedure, you come out into the recovery room, and generally, it's the stay is about 15 to 20 minutes. It can be longer if you're getting sedation. You will meet a recovery room nurse who will give you a detailed, written instruction form of what to expect after the injection. So in general, I would say 80% of people who get procedures, um, depending on the procedure, um, they feel a lot better on the day of the procedure. But that relief is short term. Just like going to the dentist and having Novocaine, the anesthetic used to numb the area for the injection wears off in a few hours. It takes longer for the real treatment to kick in. It can take three to five days um, if we're using steroid for that steroid to work. You know, they'll get home and they'll be like, ah, I'm not any better. And you, we don't expect you to be better for a good three to five days after most injections. Remember you have a team of care providers to help you. Also, we have provided you with materials to help you feel prepared about the injection process. The injection packet is a wonderful resource for you to review, but we are always available to answer your questions.